So I'm uh, Professor Con Tam. I am a, a hematologist uh, that work at Peter McCullum and St Vincent's Hospital uh, in Melbourne, and I have a special interest in B cell non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, which includes mantle cell lymphoma. So most patients who go on to ibrutinib um, will have a, um, a roughly a 18 month remission duration. So that's about 18 months before the lymphoma develops resistance. And then after that, there are sort of really um, not any licensed options for treatment, although there are many drugs which can potentially be effective, some of which um, have been used in other diseases. And one of these drugs is Videndoclax. Um, and, and some, some of the other options for treatment. Um, so pa most patients who, let's say, fail ibrutinib will go on to a clinical trial to try and access one of these new drugs. Um, in terms of prognosis, that would, um, after the 18 months of ibrutinib, patients who fail who do not receive any further therapy will typically die of the lymphoma within three to six months. But obviously, if patients go on to, let's say, another clinical trial with something like venetoclax and have another good response, then uh, the lifespan is considerably better. So it really depends on how, whether we're able to get new drugs um, to keep the lymphoma under control. Um, patients who go on to ibrutinib straight after chemotherapy, after one prior line of therapy, so in other words, if you had only had chemotherapy or transplant in the past and then you relapse and you go straight into ibrutinib, tend to have a, a better outcome on ibrutinib. So the remission duration are in the order of around sort of two and a half to three years, as opposed to one and a half years if patients uh, go on after had, having had many different rounds of chemotherapy.